Hi, I'm Shane with Josh the Gas Fitter Inc. And today I'm going to show you how to make a connection on an underground poly plastic pipe connection perfection company. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you the, the steps involved in cleaning the pipe and getting it ready for the connection. Now this is the plastic, just a short piece just to show you. This is the plastic poly pipe and this is what they use underground for gas lines. So the first thing you're going to want to do is when you're making a connection you need a perfectly straight cut. You don't want any edges on there. You want to make sure the pipe is clean. There's no scratches or gouges on the pipe. So I've already made my cut. Now I've just got to clean the pipe. So what I'm going to use as a cleaning agent is this GLD30 cleaner and it's also a leak detector. So, I'll just give the end a spray. Wipe it off, clean it off, make sure that we've got, you know, the first six, eight inches or so nice and clean. You don't want to put any of this down in the dirt once you've made your, your cleaning, you've done the cleaning and all that stuff. So, now I have my perfection chamfering tool. This side here is three quarter inch diameter and the opposite side is for cutting one inch diameter. The pipe I'm showing you today is three quarter inch. So if I can show you, if you look closely, it looks kind of like a pencil sharpener. That's basically the concept. So what the whole point is, is to bevel the outside edge of this pipe. So once your pipe is clean, you're going to take it Stick it inside, and then we're going to give it a twist. And as you can see, it's slowly chamfering the pipe. You want to make sure you do a few passes on it to make sure that it's square all the way around. As you can see, it's tapered. So, now I'm going to show you how to put a mark. You, you need a reference mark on this pipe so that you know once you've put your coupling on that it's in all the way. So, the way to do that is you take a felt tip marker, pen. Markers seem to work the best. Now, what you want to do is on this coupling, you can see at the tip of my pen where these ribs are. You want to be on the left side, the side where the insert is. So now you line your pipe up to the end of the pipe with that. Right? So now you're going to take it and I usually put my thumb right flush with this edge, not the edge of the steel, the edge of the plastic. Like so. And I mark it with the tip of my thumb. And then you put your mark. And that's what's known as your stab depth reference mark. So now we've got our mark. I'm going to show you how the connection's made. This works, this connection here works like a Chinese finger trap. Once it's put on, it cannot come off. It's a one time deal and it's sealed forever. So now that we've got it chamfered, we've got our mark, now we're going to put it in. So you make sure the inside piece goes inside, and then you really want to push, 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 and it should go right to that reference mark, like so. And that's how you do underground gas line connection. 